it would also have been extremely funny to see the reaction of the celebs and none other than a Kim Kardashian because obviously she's become the muse of Balenciaga over the last few months and stuff and I thought her reaction to it was pretty hilarious because again much like the fashion people don't really stand for anything so I don't necessarily think any um, ill intention went behind that Balenciaga kid shoot I don't think they really wanted to promote or to um, excuse or to do like a psyop on flipping child abuse or anything i don't think it was that deep i legitimately do think it was just them just trying to be edgy maybe trying to cause a pro provoke some sort of reaction but i don't think it really was meant to say anything more than what it basically said look at these cute kids standing around all these cute items uh, all these flipping you know expensive items strewn out on the floor holding this weird teddy bear that's essentially what it was but you would think if you were a Kardashian, especially if you were like a you know a mom of four like Kim Kardashian is, and especially with somebody that kind of used the whole mom thing as a trophy in your cabinet, it kind of feels like with the Kardashians, they kind of use, you know, the, the ability to have kids and have a family as a way to make them seem wholesome and normal, just like you and all this sort of nonsense. You'd think they'd have some sort of principled, moral, ethical line in the sand when it involved children. Even if the outrage is misplaced, even if it is a bit exaggerated and a bit overblown, you'd think there'd be some sort of breaking point. Okay, now you've gone too far. Here, here's my line. You didn't know that line existed because I keep it to myself, but you've crossed my line and I'm over it. That can be somewhat respectable. Even though I still think it's a little bit OTT and a little bit look at me, I still feel like if you're a parent and you reacted strongly to the Balenciaga thing, I can understand why. But I like this non-response and non-reaction from the Kardashians because it explains exposes just how lacking in morals and principles that entire family are because Ben Shaga lines their pockets with money and opportunities and whatever it may be there's no real need to cut them off because they pay even if for all intents and purposes that shoot was to exploit children or was to or was used as a basis to promote child abuse they don't care because Balenciaga are basically paying them. That's essentially what they're saying. I'm not, they, don't, they shouldn't obviously have been there if they don't want to be there, but I just love how they don't have any principled or moral stance on anything, really, for the most part. And I just love the fact that people keep asking them to have a position on it when they don't have it, and people get, keep being surprised at their reaction. That's the thing that made me surprised. That kind of makes me laugh the most. And this is Kim Kardashian's um, response to the, you know, resounding amounts of the, you know, this is Kim Kardashian's response to the, probably flood of requests that she was getting to comment on the whole Balenciaga thing. She says, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to the team to understand for myself how this could have happened. As a mother of four, <laughs> fuck off, it reminds me of what Chris Jenner said, um, as a 67 year old mum, can you just leave me alone? Remember what Kanye was doing that stuff to her? She said, I think I remember reading that thinking, wow, these girls had no chance. If their mum speaks like that, like imagine being a 70 year old mother and saying I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nearly 60 year old mom yeah, I think that's what she said I'm nearly 60 years old and you're abusing me leave me alone it's like huh anyway it continues as a mother of four as a black man <laughs> it's like when people do that annoying thing on Twitter when the experts reply to a thread do any doctors know why this happens why so and so happens uh, and then someone reply doctor here da -da -da -da. Um, cardiologist here um, vet here it's like go oh, fuck off man fucking know it all anyway it continues as a mother of four i've been shaken by the disturbing images the safety of children must be held with the highest regard and any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society period he said she said period um, them that said period everyone's saying period i appreciate balenciaga's removal of the campaign and an apology and speaking with them i believe they understand the seriousness of this issue and will take necessary messages to uh, for this to never happen again as for my future with balenciaga i'm currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand yeah right you are basing it off of their willingness to accept their accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with and the actions i'm expecting them to take to protect children absolutely incredible cut ties at the blair white the first reply cut ties completely or you're full of shit kim you're very ob obviously kicking the ball down the road so you can continue your business relationship with them once the show's over. It's not difficult to draw the line at child porn and your inability to do so is telling. That's what I'm saying. Is they, don't, they don't have a line. And I feel like 
it's unfair to lambast them for that because I feel like most people don't really have a line. I feel like most people's lines are just like dictated by social media. People don't really be upset about the things that they be pretending they're upset about because if they would, if they, if they did, then the proof will be in the pudding. Right, if, if if people were legitimately upset by what Kanye, like what flipping Kanye West says, he'd be on the street, he'd be out in the street begging for tips or begging for money. But the fact that he's still a multi-millionaire basically proves that the majority of his fans don't care if he decides to flip and get a Hitler tattoo on his chest or something, or paint the swastikas on his fucking ribs in the shape of a fucking in in the same place that maybe Tupac had a fuck life. He gets flipping swastika or Adolf Hitler writ on the flip. Do you know what I mean like I don't think people actually care? That's the legitimate point of this whole thing because I do think as annoying and as frustrating as this family is, the Kardashians, I feel like they are just a mirror on our society. They are basically the worst of us magnified, right? But just very rich, very influential and all that kind of stuff. But they're essentially no different than us regular people for the most part. I don't think so. Um, and But I just, I, it made me laugh when I originally read the tweet because I was like, rah, man, like you legitimately have no line. There is no, there is no line in the sand for you. Whether it's kids, whether it's race, um, whether it's you know uh, inequality in the workplace, um, whatever it may, be, whether it's inequality overall, there is nothing. There's a line. There's no like line where someone can say something, step over it, and then you're kind of done with them. It's just no. Nah, as long as they're paying me, everything's cool. It's like Jesus Christ, man, what a life to live. But yeah, that was quite hilarious to see that. And the other one that was really funny too was this one, which is a bit out of order i feel like but the kylie jenner one was pretty telling i think people are trying to get her on tiktok so this is culture of cosmopolitan it says kylie jenner responds to claim she used um photos of her children to cover up for balenciaga <laughs> she got baited into this one this is a classic troll she kind of she bit the bait um kylie jenner has waded into the controversy surrounding balenciaga taken to social media to deny claims that she's covering up for the fashion brand to recap, Balenciaga found itself in the center of controversy following the release of its latest campaign. The series of adverts featured children carrying their brand's plush bear but They called them plush bear bags, you know. They should be just called BDSM bags, which were wearing um, S&M style harnesses. Another advert for their hourglass bags displayed the documents of the Supreme Court um, related to child pornography cases. In a statement posted on Instagram stories, the label apologized for the care, you know, since then many eyes have been placed on the Kardashians and Jenner family who frequently sport the brand at events. Now Kylie has broken her silence on the controversy after being accused by social media users of posting um, photos of her children in distress. So posting photos of her children to distract from the Balenciaga drama. This reminds me of like, you know, when YouTubers, they did do apologies. They have that sigh. And then they also do that thing where if they're doing an apology, halfway through the apology, especially if it's not the greatest, they'll have a pet run onto the set. Oh my God, Henry or Oscar, what are you doing? Like a cute dog or cute cat or some monkey will come, you know, funneling down somewhere and suddenly they'll, you know, it'll kind of take all the attention away from um how terrible the apology is but yeah whatever uh chris jenner telling her kids yeah chris <laughs> the comment was listen it's a comment <laughs> yeah the comments are chris jenner telling her kids to release the good photos of the blend scandal right and then she here's her response um uh why would i pay as a child to cover up for balenciaga this is why i don't do this always something to say which is a classic deflection because you didn't really address the comment and you also just like addressed it, right? It's a good deflection because you addressed it, but you didn't really address the comment. You just kind of addressed it and kind of kept it moving. But I thought that was absolutely hilarious. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. People expecting the world from these people when essentially they get paid for this. This is what they get paid for. They get paid to look beautiful and to wear expensive garments. That's essentially what they get paid to do. Expect them to do anything other than that is really silly, to be honest. If I'm completely honest, it really is the height of silliness. But hey. Who am I to tell people how to do things? Who am I?